Everyone, welcome to another episode of Brett's Brain. Today, I'm gonna to tell you how to ace the initial VC screening call. Hey, I'm Brett Brohl, former entrepreneur, current venture capitalist. Thanks so much for checking out the channel. Our goal here is to help founders succeed and build big businesses. So if you have any questions, ask. Make sure you share with any entrepreneur friends that you have because we'd love to help them too. Follow, like, subscribe, do all of those things. Okay, first meetings with a venture capitalist or an investor. What are some things that you can do to differentiate yourself from all of the other entrepreneurs that are out there? Well, here's a few tips for you. First, make sure you send a reminder with all of your information and deck and any other prep information that you have to that VC that you're meeting 24 hours beforehand. Get it back to the top of their inbox to make sure that they've actually reviewed. That'll save you a lot of time in the meeting. Now you're gonna get you're gonna enter that meeting. You're gonna spend a couple of minutes doing quick, like two minutes of warm intros, where are you from, who are you, that type of thing. But understand the time that you have allotted. So is your first meeting 20 minutes? Is it 30 minutes? What we found is that most first initial meetings are 20 minute slots or 30 minute slots. And a huge mistake a lot of founders make is that they take the entire time walking through all their slides. So you have 20 minutes to talk uh, in the screening meeting and you spend 17 of them pitching on slides. You don't leave any time for questions. General rule of thumb, never use more than 50% of your allotted time to walk through your pitch. General rule of thumb, never use 50%. And I know that what we all try to do as founders is we try and like make sure we see, say everything that that VC might be interested in to keep, get them hooked and keep them hooked. We're diving deep into things. We're going to all these tangents. The truth is it's impossible for a founder to know what every single investor out there actually cares about. And investors care about a lot of different things. And so you're not gonna necessarily get to what I care about versus what Mary cares about and it, by going through a 17 minute pitch when you've only got 20. The best way to get to what we care about is to do a quick, concise pitch and then let us ask questions. We will lead you there, I promise. Let us lead you there. And if an investor doesn't lead you to what they actually care about, they're probably not that interested anyways and it's good to know about that upfront. So don't talk for too long. Third tip, don't get into the weeds in a first meeting. Again, it's very similar to the last one, but if I ask you a question, a high level question about product, don't immediately pull up a product demo and then start what needs to be a 15, 20 minute demo and you try and crush it into one minute demo. It's a terrible look, like we don't have time to get into it. So I'm asking you a high level product question. That's a great opportunity for you as a founder to say, hey, we don't have enough time for a product demo right now. Would love to set up a follow-up meeting and I can walk you through and make sure we have enough time to go through a proper product demo. But here's the answer to your question. That's a great opportunity to get a second meeting. So think about it as that type of opportunity versus trying to squeeze it in that first meeting. That's the biggest overarching advice I have in how to nail your first one is try not to squeeze too many things into a short period of time. Your real goal in that first meeting is to get to know each other, Make sure that we're aligned as far as stage, vertical, are we investing? And that, you know, we can get a feel for you as a founder and is there mutual interest in continuing the conversation? Then you have to plant what I always call the hook into, well, here's what's actually really interesting about us. It's this differentiator, it's this revenue that's going to make that investor want to have a second meeting with you. That's all you gotta get done is you gotta plant that hook so you get the second meeting. The best ways to do that are to not talk too long, to not to do too deep of a dive, let the investors ask questions. Then always a fourth tip, always best practice is ask like what's next step? Make sure you have a good clear understanding of what the next steps for that investor are in their process. Um, fifth, come prepared with questions and thoughtful questions. Every single meeting I'm in, first meeting I always ask, what questions do you have for me? And if you have founders that have thoughtful questions that have obviously done research on our firm, on me, they stand out. It's completely differentiated versus like the generic, what size check do you write? It's okay to ask that question too, but having that really, really unique question that like dives in and shows that you've done your research is differentiating for you as a founder. Um, finally, close the call. Ask for the next meeting. Always try and get your next meeting while you're in the current meeting. It's a best practice in any sales calls and you might get pushed off, but it's worth asking or at least figuring out what the next steps would be to get to that next meeting. And then you're done with that call. Make sure you follow up with a note. It's incredibly differentiating if you follow up with a note and say, hey, investor, it was great meeting with you. Here's a couple takeaways I had from our meeting. Here's what I understand next steps will be. Thank you so much for meeting. I appreciated your time. Just doing a quick follow-up that rehashes what the meeting was and what next steps are gonna be, 
1% of founders do that, maybe. And so it's gonna really separate you and show that you're a great communicator and that you were really engaged in that meeting. These are all some tips that you can use as an entrepreneur to differentiate yourself and really increase your conversion from first to second meeting with funds. If you like this content, make sure you share, like, subscribe. Thanks so much for checking out Brett's Brain.